one year before filming on Titanic began. DiCaprio's leading lady in the movie is Kate Winslet, of course, among this year's Oscar nominees for Best Actress. Winslet had this to say to Katie Couric back in 1995. It's funny, when I, when I sort of make a decision to be part of a film or whatever, or a theatre project or a television project, whatever it might be, um, I don't know what it is, but something, something somehow kind of just sort of screams at me, yes, do this, you know, yes, be a part of this. It kind of, I don't know, it hits my heartstring, if you like. Kate Winslet plays the character of Rose in Titanic, young Rose. The actress who plays old Rose turns out to be a Hollywood veteran, Gloria Stewart, nominated for Best Supporting Actress. Stewart was profiled for today by NBC's Jim Brown. Gloria Stewart's role as Old Rose in the hit movie Titanic has been described as the emotional core, the true heart of the story. She narrates the tale of the 1912 tragedy with Kate Winslet playing out the character as the young Rose. When you prepare to come into the, the close-up, yeah. you should do the no. No. Yeah. In reality, Gloria Stewart is a youthful and feisty 87 years of age. Action, Gloria! And picked by director Jim Cameron, who was looking for a pro from the 30s or 40s. Someone, he says, who may have been off the Hollywood radar for a while. That's a cut! Right? Beautiful! <laughs> Stewart was a platinum blonde beauty in Hollywood's early sound era, romanced by the likes of Dick Powell in Gold Diggers of 1935. Menaced by Boris Karloff in The Old Dark House. Oh, can I make you understand? He's hurt! And upstaged by Shirley Temple in Poor Little Rich Girl and Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. My name's Rebecca Winstead. What's yours? I'm Gwen Warren. We're first cousins, you know. Why are we? I quit. I quit in 39. Went around the world. Went to Angkor Wat, Bali. I had a wonderful time. A founding member of the Screen Actors Guild, she had married writer Arthur Sheikman in the mid-30s and tried Broadway when she gave up the screen. It didn't work, she says. Nobody wanted a movie actress. So combined with raising a daughter, she turned to painting. And I was very successful. I had shows in New York. The Hammer Galleries was my debut as a one-woman show. And uh, Beverly Hills, Dallas, uh, all over. But to get out of the house, to get away from the physical agony of what Alzheimer's is, I called everybody who was still breathing or their sons and daughters and said, I'd like to go back to work. The Alzheimer's reference is to her husband, who contracted the disease and died in 1978. Mr. Swan, my wife, Anne. Mr. Horn, may I have this dance with your beautiful wife? This charming moment from 1982's My Favorite Year with Peter O'Toole was one result of Stewart's acting efforts. But another career had already blossomed. So, this is my studio. This is where I have my press. This is a print shop. Yes. You're a printer. I'm a printer. I've combined the artist with the printer and it's called a book artist as a book artist i have books in the victorian albert museum in in london uh, the getty uh, occidental college has a complete collection the clark library ucla has a complete collection it's all involving and uh, it's like acting it's very creative you're on your own there are certain rules like in acting but uh, it's all your body of work, and I love it, and I look forward to doing it again very shortly. The shortly will have to wait until the Titanic frenzy dies down. <laughs> the movie has been nominated for eight Golden Globes, including Gloria Stewart and Kate Winslet in the acting category, which makes Oscar nominations also a possibility. <laughs> she is. <laughs> for today, Jim Brown, NBC News, Hollywood.